a writer, an artist, a business strategist, a philosopher of creative, adventurous living. She is an award-winning public relations firm, and she has written a book called Do Your Laundry or You'll Die Alone. Advice your mom would give if she thought you were listening. Becky Blades, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. Glad to be here. Uh, tell us about the book, and we please do not give away the ending. <laughs> yeah, the ending, it doesn't end well because my daughter's graduating and she still doesn't do her laundry, but it was a threat. <laughs> and 270 life lessons I sent to my daughter when she started her first year of college because I was convinced I'd let her out of my house without doing all the heavy lifting, if you will. Um, you know, teenagers are on their phones and mine was on her phone and there were all these mom, uh, mom wisdom that I knew she didn't get. So I put it in an email. I sent it to her at college. She said, mom, you know, this is funny. You should make a book out of it. And I'm an, an artist. So she said, put your art in there, get it done by the time Tess graduates from high school. And that's her little sister. And I did it. When your kid gives you a challenge, you have to step up. And so what's the oldest one doing now? She is graduating next week. Oh, next week. So it took you four years. Well, it took me four years. It took me. I it, it published last year. Oh, so okay. Two, two and a half years. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Do so. You wrote. You told your daughter, "Do your laundry, or you'll die alone." That was the subject line of the email. Yes, because yes. I needed her to read it. We parents cannot be afraid for of cheap scare tactics, threats, whatever it takes, because they are not listening to us. They're listening to the guy on the corner with the crack or something so let me ask know. you <laughs> <laughs> were some of these tips tips that your mother passed along to you when you weren't listening to her <laughs> yeah well i well i started but see we didn't have all the distractions mm -hmm. so there i start with theirs like uh, you know your mom probably said if you can't say something nice don't say anything mm -hmm. but i don't let them off with that the last part of that line is you're smart enough to think of something nice right right but it's also things like um, you know, it's how to take care of your laundry, yourself, your relationships. Uh, a bad attitude makes your butt look big. Just says, you know, Missy, <laughs> appearance isn't always about your fashion choices. <laughs> uh, I love the humor that you have with all of these. It's, it's really. It's cool. actually, it's a great book. It's, it's one of these books that you can, it's a great coffee table book in a sense. It is. Or it a is. nightstand book or a bathroom book. Uh, yes, including, uh, here's some, some great advice. Don't worry about mastering parallel parking. They're designing cars that will do it for you. Right. You know, my oldest daughter, <laughs> and, and here we are, two and a half, three years later. Yes. And here we go. Um, no, as much stuff as we tell them to do, I thought we need to tell them some things not to worry about because I have two different kids, and if you have kids, you know they're all different. The first one worried about everything, even the imaginary things. Mm -hmm. And so I had to say, sister, you're ready for your parking test. Don't worry about that. You know, just be nice to the instructor. Now, moms are going to hate me for that. But, you know, you have to tell the high strung kids mm -hmm. uh -huh. to relax. Uh -huh. You have to tell those other kids that, you know, everything counts. The test that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the test that the other so kids in other <laughs> words, you change the message depending on what kid you're talking to. Well, they, they're both true. But so that's why turned from a hundred things when I wrote it to Big Sister to 270 things when I made it into a book. Oh, now hold on a second. So you're telling me the advice in this book is dependent on which kid you're talking to. I'm saying everybody's covered, but my original email was just for the driven high strung kid. Ha -ha. And then mm -hmm. I had to go in there. For example, uh, my, my youngest would give you the shirt off of her back. Um, she's the kid who said, Mom, you really expect me to go to class when my friend is crying in the bathroom? What kind of barbaric human do you want me to be? <laughs> so for her, I, I, when I decided to make it a book, I, I figured I had to cover the, both those things. So there's, there's a section in there about charity, which says uh, along the lines of, you know, give to who you want to. But if, uh, you know, don't so much worry if the twenty dollars is for a bottle for the baby or a bottle for the mom <laughs> but don't give your last twenty dollars to somebody if you think they spent their last twenty dollars on 
crack. Uh, you uh, Kelly theme there. <laughs> Kelly uh, Kelly read one. You weren't here. She, oh. Kelly read one uh, earlier that w- both caught us kind of. Uh, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> it was the one about everyone's uh, the the people who are. The people who are fake are the real fake ones. What was that? The, oh, everyone's yeah. fake. Everyone's a fake. Everyone's a fake. Everyone feels like a fake. Don't, would you agree with that? Let's just stop there for a second. Yes. Would you agree? We all feel like fakes sometimes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Except the real fakes. Yes. Except like the real they fake. believe the people that believe their own stories. Right. They don't feel like a fake. Right. right. Those are, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, which which basically goes to say sure. that if you don't feel intimidated or feel like you can't do it, you're normal. That's normal. Exactly. Uh-huh. Right. But if uh-huh. you're a real fake, you're fooling y- yourself. If you don't have some self-doubt, I mean, we all uh-huh. have self-doubt and it's normal. So when kids are going into tests so they're going up on a stage for the first time, they, they should feel like, well, wow, I'm not up to this. They should have picked somebody else. That's normal, uh-huh. right? Um, but the people who are, oh, I can do this, let me at it all the time, those those people are maybe narcissists. <laughs> I love this one. Pick up the tab sometimes. A mother telling a daughter, pick up the tab sometime. And if you read on, it says, you know, you can buy a coffee, but don't be a mooch. Don't be the person who always shows up with the people that can buy. Um, you know, we, we have to start our kids with those learnings that will get them to adulthood safely. And if your kid, I mean, kids today have some money and they, they know how to treat each other and take each other out. And even if you're broke, just don't be that person. Save up so right. you can be the person to treat someone. How about this one, Kelly Jackson? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> if you're, This is mother's advice to her daughter in the book, Do, uh, do Your Laundry or You'll Die Alone. Uh, 220. If you're flirting with everyone, you're flirting with no one, and you're probably embarrassing yourself. Oh, McGraw. Mm. <laughs> I'm flirting with everybody? No, uh, that's that's, that's great kidding. advice from a mother to a daughter. It is profound. From I mean, a if man. You're, if, yes. you're, if you're wearing your skirts up there and you're trying to um, make everybody mm-hmm. look at you that way, then nobody feels special. Mm-hmm. And I love that. Mm-hmm. See? <laughs> you're probably embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have one more. I love Go this. Ahead. Admit when you're wrong. Admit when you don't know something. And admit when you need to move up a size. There you go. Spandex <laughs> isn't a right. That. It's a privilege. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Becky Blades is the author of the book, do, you, uh, do Your Laundry or You'll Die Alone. Where do we get the book? It's at Barnes & Noble. It's on Amazon. But this weekend at 2 o'clock on Saturday, that's tomorrow, I guess, Main Street Books in St. Charles. I'll be signing books. It's a great graduation gift. It is. It's uh, number two on Amazon in the category today i just noticed this is so exciting congrats um it's number two on amazon on the in the category of parent adult relationships okay it's yeah. much more than that it's 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 that it's a little bit of comedy it's a little bit of wisdom mm-hmm. it's a little bit of it's all yeah. of that sort of rolled into deep. one it's, it's a mom little... therapy really because if you're a mom and your kid gets out of the house without them knowing everything this book kind of uh, what moms have told me is you know i kind of know if they get the book that somebody told them and also it affirms what other moms are saying so when your mom says it maybe you're like ah that's my mom but or if someone else. other moms that's say a great it, point it's yeah. a great conversation starter you know what it'd be a i bet you somebody smart got a hold of this to be a great movie and it would be really, it would really be a great parlor game. Oh, parlor game. Yes. Okay. So crack open a bottle of wine and play uh, Do Your Laundry or You'll, you'll Die Alone. Uh, I can actually see this in movie I'm going to yeah. hire you for my agent. Boy, nobody ever went there. Thank you. Becky Blades, the website for more information, the book. Laundryordie.com. It gets even scarier. Laundry or Die, and that's my Twitter feed. And we'd love to get other moms' advice. You know, as funny as this stuff is, other moms have better stuff so on my website there's a place to put your own motherly advice and tomorrow two o'clock mainstream books main street, main street books, books in uh downtown st charles yes you got it becky blades thanks for coming in thank you 852 big 550 ktrs the big